Makodi, the Benue state capital, was thrown into pandemonium after the Nigerian military launched airstrike against bandits terrorizing the outskirts of the town. According to a local online news medium, Citizens TV, the military is targeting bandit hideout in the town. I would be recalled that the Benue state governor, Samuel Autumn, had at the wake of hoodlums attacked on an IDP center in the state capital, said over 70 people were killed in Makodi local government area alone by bandits in the space of two weeks. Since then, the attacks have continued to escalate. The recent attacks that happened there were also reported that the military in Makodi neutralized bandits in some communities in the outskirts of the town. The latest military bombardment is however yet to be confirmed. We have heard what has happened. We have heard that there is tension in Benue State as troops bombard bandits hideout. What do you make of this? What do you think about what has been said? Well, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Guest said, Bombing innocent Benue and Eastern Region citizens, but allowed Boko Haram bandits and huntsmen to continue killing and kidnapping and taking over several local governments has raised their flags in Northern Region. Buhari is no more but Northern Islamic leader are doing all this, but God will put them to shame. We have heard what guests have said that they are only bombing innocent Benue and Eastern Region citizens, but are always allowing the Boko Haram bandits and headsmen to continue killing and kidnapping. And also, they have taken over several local governments and they have raised their flags in the Northern Region also. But if the bombing is actually targeted at the bandit, then there is nothing wrong with it. Let the military do their work. Well, we have seen people reacting to this. We'd like you to join us in the reaction. Let's move further and see what other people's reactions is on this. John Aja said Nigeria is a confused country and the leader is incapacitated except Autumn and Abaribe. We have had another comment from John Aja who have said Nigeria is a confused country and the leader also are incapacitated. Only Autumn and Abaribe are exempted. Emmanuel Peter also reacted and said, But what I don't get is that why can't they do same bombardment in Castina, Sokoto, Kaduna, Bono and Niger State? Emmanuel Peter is saying, this bombardment that is going on in Benue State, why can't the same bombardment, you know, be going on also in Castina State, Sokoto, Kaduna, and Bono State, including Niger State also? What do you have to say about this? Could there be any reason why these states are not being bombarded the same way the Benue State is being bombarded by troops? Well, let's move further and see what other people's reactions is on this. ID Nobu also said, all because the governor has decided to arm the youth to defend themselves against Fulani headsmen killers, so Buhari government has declared war on Benue people indirectly. People should be vigilant now as Nigerian army works for the Fulanis. How true is this statement? Is it true that the Nigerian army are now working for the Fulanis? Just as Nobu has said that the Buhari government has declared war on Benue people indirectly and has also urged the people to be very vigilant now that Nigerian army are working for the Fulanis. How true is this statement that the Nigerian armies are working for the Fulanis? We would like you to drop your comment on this. Yusuf Idris also reacted and said, please you should avoid a mistake of bombing the innocent citizens and later give a common apology. We always support you and pray for your success. We have heard what Yusuf Idris has urged and said that they should not make any mistake of bombing any innocent citizens and later give a common apology. 
we have had a series of incidents of which the military have bombed citizens and they said it is a mistake and none of them is held responsible none of them is held to pay for it so yusuf idris is saying that they should avoid a mistake of bombing the citizens and later give a common apology we always support you and pray for your success so there's no need for you to you know directly or indirectly bomb the sin you know innocent pardon citizens what is your reaction on what has been said well let's move further and see what other people reactions is on this sea lord said bombardment of people criminals or not but how many bombardments is carried out in some bizarre forest we have heard what sea lord has also reacted and said that there's bombardment on people criminals or not but how many bombardment is being carried out in the sambisa forest sea lord is saying bombardment is not being carried out in sambisa forest where we have the hideout of the boko harams and bombardment is being carried out on people criminals what do you make of what has been said by him what do you think about this whole situation of nigeria don't you think nigeria is really you know going astray we would like you to drop your own comment and reaction to what has been said so far let's move forward and see what other people reactions is and also know their thoughts on this john also said in benue not zambisa this is really funny we have heard what john also has also said that there is bombardment in benue and not zambisa sounds some somehow funny what do you have to say about this this eye service is you know to come create chance for the boko haram to strike these people we need to watch and see because according to what guests have said you see that this service it is an eye service and it will create a chance for the boko haram to come and you know strike again let's watch and see that is what guest has said on this only christian dominated areas they are happy to bomb boko haram enter an army barrack during the daytime and killed over enough soldiers no bombing on that day boko harams enter niger state killed many people and even hoisted their flags according to the governor till day no bombing god is watching we have had another one from guests who have said that only christian dominated areas they are happy to bomb could this be another mean means or strategy of trying to eliminate christians in nigeria what do you make of this boko haram enter an army barrack during the daytime and killed our soldiers there was no bombing on that day they never came to bombard these boko haram who have entered into the barracks boko haram also entered niger state they killed many people and even hoisted their flags according to the governor but today there's no you know any form of bombing in that place there's no bombardment in that place god is watching that is what guests have said we would like you to drop your own comment on what has been said so far we'd like you to you know drop your own reaction about this we'd like to see your point of view about what has been said about the tension that happens in benue as the troops bombard bandits hideout we would like you to drop your own comment on this. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.